uh, in one more and then out one more, but I don't want to put too much in there for the belly button. As most of the stuff I want to do, I want to do um, with textures as far as that goes. So just take that center point in a little bit. And that looks okay right here. We don't really have enough geometry to do what I want to do. So we'll just pull that out. And that looks okay. So there we have our basic female mesh. Let's go ahead and see what we can do about adding some nipples. Alt right mouse button on these. And shift S, cursor selection. E to extrude those edges. Let's whoops. Let's right click to stop it from moving. If you just drug off like I did, let's scale those down. And I'm gonna use the 3D cursor as our point of reference and scale up. Okay, that didn't work because it happens to be in the same spot. So let's scale it down really low. And then I'm going to alt right mouse button on this loop. Cursor selection. And alt right mouse button on that. Since we're still using that 3D cursor, we can scale up now and it'll push them out. Let's go to the side. Let's pull those up. Make sure they're okay. Scale them up a little bit more. Just gonna do some grab and move. Okay, so let's go back to um, medium point and extrude those. Pull them out a little bit. Don't need to go too far. Let's go to the top. G, grab and move. Let's extrude them again. Scale them in. Okay, and extrude one more time. Yeah, let's take them just in just a little bit. Let's go to the side, and we need to take them down. I'm going to scale them down to zero. I'm not going to weld them. I'm just going to leave them. Okay, and let's grab this loop and scale it down pretty tight. Now all I'm going to do with that is I'm basically hiding that one. So add a loop right there and grow the selection. Smooth. Three, four, five, six times seems okay. Now, if we go to the side, we can grab and move that. Well, we need to grow it up one more time, and then deselect this one. Alt Shift. There we go, because we need to get that uh, single loop that was on the inside. Let's go to the top and rotate it a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now there's uh, nipples come in all different shapes and sizes, and there's, you know, to your heart's content, you can change your nipples the way you want them. Uh, brace shape is largely attributed to the placement and shape of the nipple. Uh, for instance, you can pull these out a little bit, which I think that looks better. Um, let's go to the top. Let's take them out this way a little bit, maybe rotate them. Nah, we're okay with that. Anyway, <clears throat> so now that that's basically done. So this is our female mesh. We uh, didn't add a lot to our forearm um, as far as the elbow and whatnot. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of that. And what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to delete some faces, these two. X faces and add a division here. There we go. And add another one here. Go to vertices. Let's actually go to the back. And I'm going to extrude this one in. I'm going to create a face out of these two. I'm going to subdivide it. W subdivide. And let's extrude this one out as well. Okay. And let's go to edges in this case. Let's grab this and this. And I'm going to change the color of my selected edges. Let's 
go to themes and background all we need to do is edge selected right now you can see they're green we can make them uh, just about any color let's try blue try deep blue that doesn't work too well let's try and lighten it up drastically nope red nice bright red there we go hopefully you can see that okay so let's grab those two make a face grab this one and this one make a face this one and this one make a face same thing here face whoops face there and a face there and that just basically created this loop doing two quads in a quad back to back and now we can go to vertices and we can kind of play with these let's go to the back again grab a move just pull this back a little bit go to the top and let's take this one and pull it out let's take this one back take all this back a little bit okay take this up a little, take this one down a little bit this one back in, just rounding it out a little bit more. And the reason I run it this way is because the uh, um, the bone kind of runs in from the elbow down that way. So we can take these in. And it'll kind of help define that muscle right up here. See? That's a little bit overkill. Um, take all this and pull it out a little. Still too much. Let's screw that once and smooth it. Smooth it twice. That's okay. Down at the bottom, that's definitely overkill, in my opinion. I'd rather have it kind of round. So let's smooth that a couple times. And then we'll just uh, pull it out from this view. And that's much better to me. Now you could start changing loops to run up towards the top a little bit right here. Um, if I draw this in, going this way. But I'm not going to get too much into that stuff. This is supposed to be just some basics. And that would take a long time so anyway this is the point on your model where you kind of want to get all your basic shape down well not all your basic shape down but uh, start adjusting your shape a little bit more and that's what I would do normally right here is I'd start adding more shape to things like start developing the character a little bit more like if I wanted the breast larger the butt bigger whatever. I'd start doing that here. Let's pull those down. And that would help, you know, give your character a bit more definition. But overall, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with the way she is right now. I'm going to pull those up a little bit more. And those as well. Okay. Let's smooth those. Okay. 
I feel like the arms are a little bit small though, so I'll grab these some of these loops. And we'll just start with some of these. Okay, that's a good starting point. Let's grow it once. And then I'm going to go, well, deselect this one. And let's go with Alt S. Hold down Shift to pull it out. There we go. Making it a little bit larger. Let's smooth it once because we have a lot of definition in that arm. Let's smooth it again. There we go. It's a little bit better. Okay. So anyway, um, also maybe start tweaking the legs a little bit better. Definitely rounding them out a little bit. Add another SDS level to see. A little bit better. <coughs> Excuse me. And I didn't add a sacrum on this one. And that's uh, basically, there's just a, a meaty area right, uh, right here that kind of comes out. And normally I actually uh, model it. I add um, more divisions and stuff. I don't want to say normally but I do like to uh, model it so that's uh, just an easy way to do it if you just do it like I just did just now grab that and pull it out and then you can grab all those um, faces right there and extrude them But uh, that method right there seemed to work okay. Let's go to the side. Because it looks like... Uh, looks like all this stuff needs to come in a little bit. And quite honestly, the uh, the backbone actually sticks out just a little bit in a few places. And what you would normally do is create, um, let me go ahead and save this real quick, F2, 5, let's save it as 6. Okay, is um, you would actually need a bit more uh, divisions in here. And these would actually be the ones that go in, but you want them really close. Let's grow that up once and smooth it. Let's smooth that again. That adds a little bit too much detail. But anyway, let's get back to what I was talking about.